Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for 11 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Genesis 1 verses 11 to 13. Here's the word of God. And God said, Let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind on the earth. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, according to their own kinds, and trees bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening, and there was morning the third day. And here's the poem I wrote inspired by those verses. Creation of Plants, Foliage, and Trees On the third day, the Lord God painted the earth with foliage. All kinds of plants and trees decorated the land which he made. Why would he add foliage to the dry land? Was there a purpose for him to place them on earth? God made the sprouting vegetation in preparation for man. It was to provide for their sustenance as they live in the land. What an ingenious plan to have some trees to bear fruit to be eaten. It was something that will give nourishment and delight to mankind. Here's the essay I wrote on this verses. On the third day, we see Moses' account of the creation of the seas and the skies and vegetation and fruit-bearing trees. He must have been thinking of mankind when he made plants, foliage, and trees. We now know that foliage, plants, and trees all have a function in our lives. Without trees, we will have less oxygen or no shade or shelter. The trees help protect us from the harsh weather conditions as, so, as well so we don't get flooding. They provide much fruits that we can also have as nourishment. These trees can also provide for making shelter when we can be protected from the weather. A lot of times we forget that these essentials are there as God's way of providing for our needs. Just reflect on what happens when you walk through the woods or the garden. You can get refreshed and be re-energized. Even your mind gets reset and feel rested and fresh again. A walk amidst plants, flowers, and trees make a difference in the busy lives we live now. Reflection. What benefits do you get from the third day of creation that you can be thankful for? And why should we have a regular time to surround ourselves with foliage? And the third day, um, I think that the skies and the seas and the vegetation are for man's needs and provision. Well, in the sea you can get, uh, eventually we will go to the next part of the creation process where he will put all the fishes that we can eat as well. And then in the sea, we can uh, see a reflection of the sky as well and uh, magnify God watching all these things going around us. Now, the foliage is very important because if you notice, uh, well, I come from the Philippines where we have very limited uh, foliage, but we have lots of greens uh, that are uh, eternally there. It's, it's annual. Oh, sorry, it's perennial. Unlike here in Canada, where there are some perennials and some annuals, and um, you need, there are different flowers for different seasons. So it's important for us to be thankful for all this, because this is how God provided for us. But because of industrialization and the modern times that we live now, we fail to recognize our children don't even know where all the vegetables come from and that's so sad because it's important that they recognize 
that it is God who provided for all this when he created all these things for us to consume. So what happens when we consume what is not natural, just like uh, we get to the grocery, we don't even know where they come from. Some of, some of the veggies and the fruits that we get are from the States, from a different country. And by the time it reaches our store, uh, we don't know how long it's been there. We don't know how many handled it. So, <clears throat> excuse me, God created all this provision for us so that we can get it from nature. We don't get it from the, really the store. That's why I plant, planted a garden uh, this past six years so that even in the summer I could go get as fresh as I can uh, getting my own food from my own planting. So it's important for us to recognize that ingenious plan of God to provide all that we need. And yet, it's so interesting how we always whine and grumble and complain that we don't have this, we don't have that. And nowadays, it's very expensive for us to get the real food because we've been so bombarded with false foods and so much so much a processed food that we all get all kinds of illnesses because that's not what our bodies are designed for. So I encourage you to uh, reflect on this um, blessing that God has given us that we have to count it as such a big blessing because without all this nourishment we would die. So it's important for us to be thankful and to be uh, giving uh, gratitude to the Lord and to recognize Him in everything that we have. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos and bring you the Word of God. Have a blessed day. And if you'd like to check uh, over 3,000 videos I've done in the last 11 years, just type on Google or YouTube search Ilma's Poem Devotional. Have a blessed day.